to actually take a day and celebrate, you know, the, the great innovative spirit of Californians is, is really important for all of us. And through their innovations, through their research, through their, through their knowledge, they've changed how we farm, how we use pesticides in, in California, not just agriculture, all the consumer use, home use, and that's, that's why we're celebrating these folks. I just want to say, uh, again, how we understand that agriculture uh, is important to the state of California. Agriculture is a $44 billion industry in uh, California, uh, and more importantly than that, perhaps, uh, if you like eating, uh, particularly fruits and vegetables, then uh, you have a vested interest in making sure that agriculture in California uh, continues to be strong and healthy and viable. Um, and that is a large part of our mission, is to make sure that agriculture remains uh, the economic force that it is in California. Uh, frankly, y you all uh, here make my life uh, much easier by presenting solutions. Uh, and I will note that I know that they're not easy solutions to come by. A large part of the mission is to find ways that we can reduce the risks that are associated with managing our pests here in California. Um, and this program is a large part of that. The Walnut uh, Production Research Advisory Council uh, Etymology Working Group is part of the California Walnut Board. As you know, walnuts are a very important crop. Three quarters of the world's walnuts come out of California. The industry generates about 1.4 billion in revenue, and that turns out to be about 60,000 jobs, direct and indirect. The working group's research is focused on developing effective and economical low-risk pest management solutions. It consists of UC, University of California, USDA researchers, farm advisors, growers, and pest control advisors. Their efforts have resulted in innovation, uh, innovative and effective practices such as puffer technology. The last decade we've spent about eight million dollars on production research to try to make California farmers more efficient and also more sustainable. And I think that this award acknowledges the effort and it certainly will motivate us to do more. The IPM advocates train employees in stores like Home Depot or at local mom and pop shops uh, about less toxic ways to manage pests. Those employees then work directly with consumers, customers, and help educate them about products. The IPM Advocates Program began about three years ago as part of DPR's Pest Management Alliance Grant. And it has uh, grown to this point where it has reached more than 2,000 customers. The IPM Advocates worked with about 30 stores through California. 77% of the store managers surveyed said that the sales of these less toxic products increased significantly, despite a very challenging economy at the time. Uh, that's proof that if consumers are given the information, they will often make the right environmental choices. Education works. And it's programs like this, it's programs like this that help the regulatory agencies like DPR uh, reach consumers. The third presentation is to the Contra Costa County Agricultural Department. They lead by example in the way they use IPM in all the core work that they do and they promote IPM throughout the county with policy and practices. In recent years, the department has helped the county phase out 26 of the 34 most hazardous pesticides and reduce the use of the other eight by 83%. This is the first time that DPR has given an IPM award to a county and it is certainly well deserved. And it's very satisfying uh, both to uh, the environment and agriculture in our county and to the state in general to stop some of these invasive pests from becoming a problem for everybody. We're giving Scientific Method uh, an award today because the company has a long history of helping California growers reduce the amount of pesticide used in, on almonds and other tree crops through, through the use of IPM. Their methods, which includes intensive monitoring of orchards, have helped to significantly reduce crop loss due to insects. This includes sometimes introducing natural pest controls such as predators and parasites. According to the U.S. Department of 
Agriculture's Natural Resource Conservation Service, 25% of all the hedgerows planted in the U.S. between 2010 and 2013 occurred in California. That's about 49 miles of California planted the hedgerows. So DPR is pleased to present the 2013 DPR IPM Innovator Award to UC Cooperative Extension, UC Berkeley, Yolo County RCD, and Hedros Farms. We really hope that through this recognition that we'll actually have more, uh, more farmers and more landowners uh, plant hedgerows on farms because of the tremendous number of benefits that the uh, hedgerows uh, provide in terms of uh, you know, native bees, uh, beneficial insects, and uh, as well as uh, you know, water quality protection and, uh, and also enhancing biodiversity on farmlands. It also preserves the use of pesticides because if you continue to use the same pesticides year after year, the insects and the weeds develop resistance, uh, and then we're going to lose those tools. So uh, there's for many reasons we think that the work that uh, folks like this do are, is really important.